I'm Maureen Babyface Reardon. I'm here in Kansas City for Invicta 8, which is extremely exciting because it's the first one on UFC Fight Pass. It's a huge opportunity for all the women out there. One of the things I love about Invicta is that they really go above and beyond to show all of you really the stuff you don't get to see. So when we step in the cage, we're not women. We're animals, we're, we're beasts, we're machines. And what Invicta wants to do is show you the, the women behind the machine. And I want to give you a behind the scenes look at not, not all the stuff you always see. You know, you get to see the weigh-ins, you get to see some of the, the effort that goes into the warm-ups and all that, but how about the laughs and the giggles and the, the fighters talking to the fighters and all the great stuff you don't get. So come with me, I'm gonna show you all the behind the scenes of the women behind the fighters. Female fighter issues. <laughs> I don't know. I personally can't stand the strawberry. Go orange. No. Go cherry. Cherry. <laughs> Lanny Owen getting ready to finish up her weight cut. How much more do you have? Uh, I'm about a pound and a half. Yeah. Does, does that feel good? Is it yeah. nervous? I'm like really happy that I'm just really close to the weight. <laughs> good, good, yeah, good. I wasn't expecting that, but it's good. Good, so. good. And this fight's at 115. You've always been a 115-er. Yes. Okay. I'm finally fighting my true weight class. Good, <laughs> good, good. And that feels good too. It yeah. looks like there's a smile. Yes. All right. It's my own size. Yeah. All right. Good, <laughs> good. So we're on our way to the sauna. And is that the way you always do your weight cuts at the sauna? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I find it kind of fascinating all the different ways people cut weight, you know, you have. <laughs> the other thing that's fascinating, female fighters will tell you everything that regular yes. females won't. <laughs> All right. I don't care. <laughs> well, we'll see you in the sauna. Yay. Yeah, I'll just... Do you normally, like, take a shower, like, after you cut weight, or do you just, like, whatever? Personally, I sponge bathe it. <laughs> <laughs> but I like my hygiene, so <laughs> I definitely go in clean. Hey guys, uh, it's Delaney, little scrappy, Owen. Uh, I'm just trying to cut the last couple pounds, um, and then I'll be good to go. I've been pretty good so far for my weight cut, so I don't have too much further to go. But um, yeah, this is the part that a lot of people don't see, and uh, it's what we get paid for. <laughs> Besides the fighting part, this is going to be the fun part, so I can't wait till Wayne's is over. But, yeah, that's about it. About how much further do you have to go, just in the hot box? Uh, I think about two pounds. Alright. So not too bad. Alright. It's like relief on the I know, right? Uh, like, I walked in here, I was like, do we all get bathrooms like this? <laughs> <laughs> 
the best way to cut in bathroom. Yeah, we've seen the difference between some of the tubs versus the tub in this one. I'm surprised they're not having all the fighters knock on their doors. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Charmaine getting ready for the first 155 division of Invicta. Yes, I am. Weigh-ins in a few hours. Are you on weight? I am on weight. Just all right. my hair to make sure there's no more poundage from that. Nice. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think people forget all the little details like, that go into making weight. That it's every tiny Every tiny tiny bit you can get out, yeah, yeah. Like I have so much hair, even though a great portion of it shaved off. Mm -hmm. It holds a lot of water, so I need to make sure it's bone ground mm -hmm. on that scale. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I was gonna say, and there's the difference between <laughs> the male fighters and female fighters. We like to show that femininity and mm -hmm. get on there in front of all the cameras. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, awesome. you missed the last tub. So oh. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so we're on weight now. We're all good. We are all good. Awesome. I think it's interesting to see all the different ways that everybody cuts. You know, some of them are just yeah. sauna, steam, hot tub. I'd well, always be scared of the hot tub. Bath we tub. Hit, we hit both those yesterday. Okay. So, uh, this is kind of the last, you know, finishing up. I'm uh, only 0.8 over right now, so. Nice. Nice. And this is going to be uh, the first 155 division. Of Invicta versus Charmaine Sweet, Veronica Rothenhauser. Did I pronounce that right? From yeah. Period. Rothenhauser? Yeah, that's cool. Nice. Okay. Everybody butchers my name, so I like to try and get it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last name's Reardon, and it's always. Uh, yeah. Usually it's like I say Rothenhauser, mm -hmm. but like, you know, everybody says it. Like German people say it like all crazy, so it's whatever. <laughs> Just get the wrap in, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, right? <laughs> Wrong, <yeah. laughs> Do you do hard cuts? Is the last day miserable? Or are you pretty, now that it's 155, is it a nice cut? I mean, there's no such thing as a nice cut. <laughs> but definitely more tolerable than uh, 45, that's for sure. Nice, nice. Now that Invicta is doing the 55, do you feel like this is what you're going to be able to comfortably call? home or do you feel like you're still going to have to bounce around between the two weight classes no, to get yeah. fights? This is, yeah, this is me right here, 155, all the way. Very nice, very nice. Not going anywhere. Very nice. Good diet. And, and the force. The force is with me. <laughs> and, and the force. Thank you. She's <laughs> on the bar. She's on the bar. Yeah, she did the sweating. She Been did the bar. <laughs> nice. It's always nice to see everybody able to smile on waiting days and not so just depleted and cranky that the life is gone. <laughs> That's one of the better cuts I've dealt with. Good, good. I like hearing that. So people kind of understand what is in this. How many times in just one weight cut do you end up rechecking the weight? Many times. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that means? I can have more grips. <laughs> it's I'm the little very things. Excited about this. <laughs> Always the little things. Okay. Elevator at hotel where all the girls are cutting weight. I think only this environment you're going to get, get, this. get in the elevator where it's all just sweat dripping everywhere. Sex appeal. Yeah, yeah. And it's women, you know? Mm -hmm.
All right, let's look at lunch. Oh my. Oh my. Time to shine, Michelle. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Is that shine enough for you? Have everybody sign these and then put it on eBay. Oh, there you go. Go, you're up. See it, Peggy. Yeah, you're you, you have to do something, Peggy, because this is really about the girls, and all we saw was the guys dancing their way into the cage. Oh, Peggy's got the twerk. That's what. She's going to bring class back to the twerk. <laughs> There we go. So, <laughs> it's kind of an issue with the light. Skin tone.
Chief, I before you guys Grab everybody's toes, but you're the only one wearing sandals. Yeah. Got my shit done right. <laughs> I know it's absolutely ridiculous. I match though, you know. So that's like the extra element to the females. We have right? to match. We have to have our toes done. Well, it's like the superpowers. They, they paint their toes too. So, <laughs> but it's know. not as powerful as female. <laughs> Get an extra tip for the like perfectly parted highlights into the. I did it myself. Oh my gosh! Is it perfect? It's perfect. It's like you should tip yourself. Absolutely. It's perfect. I have the one that did. Oh, here's the. <laughs> it's what he contributes to the whole experience. <laughs> Poor boy. You know, I know you guys are kind of kidding, but it brings up like a lot of people when they talk about coaching women, and I think they ask the guys a lot, like, what would you tell other men that are thinking about coaching female fighters? But they don't ask the women. Like, if you had to give a guy that was saying they're going to start coaching women, specifically fighters, not just female athletes, what would be the one piece of advice that's different about working with us versus... Do the male fighters have as many emotion, hormonal issues as the female fighters do? The difference between male fighters and female fighters is the methodology of the tantrum. <laughs> I like it. The geek in me is loving that answer. A tantrum for a male fighter involves throwing your mouthpiece down or going or yelling or whatever. Female fighters just cry. <laughs> Tears everywhere. They'll still spar, they'll do whatever, but they're just crying and crying and crying. <laughs> so, the males are crying on the inside, but throwing temper tantrums like babies. And the females are just crying. That's basically what it breaks down to. So, which is easier to deal with? From it's a coaching an individual perspective. thing because the tantrums on the male side can be a real pain in the ass, but then like if the females just have to stop and cry, that's always a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah. oh,